Hi friends, this is NK Zena. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to create a wrinkled bed sheets inside Maya. So let's get started. First, let's take a cube, shift right click, polygon cube, scale it. So I'm doing a basic bed. Here, just a box okay uh, so then select all the edges bevel those if right click bevel edges okay so <clears throat> don't keep that uh, hard edge there so it's better to have a little bit round edges then let's take a polygon plane which will be my floor or my cloth will uh, be collide with this as well because I want my bed sit uh, on the ground a little bit so this this will be my floor let's another plane which will be my cloth itself so let's scale it uh, little bigger than my bed so because I want the bed seats to be hanged there and the most important thing is here is the polygon density because I want a little bit wrinkles going on uh, at the end so I need polygon density polygon divisions so go here and give it like something like 60 70 okay this would be fine so everything is ready before i convert this to cloth uh, let's delete the history it's important so please do this delete all by type history so unnecessary dynamics doesn't have to calculate those inputs so that's why i'm deleting those history let's make this the cloth so select change your module to fx here and go to end cloth menu choose create end cloth now it's a, a cloth object you can see this and where i'm going to my wireframe mode it's pink so now it's cloth then I want my cloth to be collide with this object and this object. So let's select both of those and change those to a passive collider. Okay, so now I'm ready to play back. Here is my timeline. Here's my range slider. I want more frames here. Like So go this uh, box here change this to like 1000 or 2000 something doesn't matter just you need more uh, frames here to play back so let's play from here let it fall down on the bed hopefully it will touch yeah it's touching the floor So you can see I'm getting some wrinkles. Uh, I can play some more frames to let it settle down because of the gravity. Uh, but here I don't want this. Obviously you can take this as a final piece. But I don't uh, want this type of thing. Actually I want wrinkles, more wrinkles here like it's half unfolded, something like that so let's do that so i'm going to the first frame here by clicking here let's move this object to a little bit higher and let's actually it's a bit more um, scale so i'm making it a little smaller and let's rotate it it's important here if I rotate this before 
I let it go down there it can it might give me some good wrinkles I can check those see so now it's falling on that angle which maybe see I'm getting some good wrinkles going up there okay so let's play some more frames see there's a problem my cloth is sliding on the surface on the bed so let's going back and go to this object uh, choose control a which is the attribute editor and choose the dampening here and save I'm going like stickiness yeah so let's increase the stickiness bit so what it does it makes uh, this object a more sticky object so a cloth will stick on that so if I increase this value so now my cloth will be a little stickier than before it will not slide like before but I want some kind of slide there because I want my cloth to be here see now it's there okay so let some few frame play so obviously I have put it some like let's decrease this value 0.3 again be prepared to stop where you like the shape like I want some kind of this Ooh, I like this let it hang a bit okay I liked it so uh, now I want this of it's still a cloth object I want to be it just a model so what I do is I duplicate it control D duplicate it then freeze there modify freeze move a bit then delete all those cloth pieces there now it's a object now it's not a cloth object anymore so go to channel box edit zero okay so this is my method to create wrinkle bed sheets uh, now i will teach you how to texture it very easily so let's find some fabric patterns so just go to google and type bedsheet patterns see I have put in this here bedsheet pattern or choose any of this pattern so I have choose this one this one maybe. so let's put those on the object <coughs> so let's give a material first so give a Lambert go to the color uh, checker input here click on that go to file browse I have saved that texture on my desktop so I'm going there and let's choose uh, these are my few back images so which one which one I like most I can put it Okay, my texture has come six press six to see it see how beautiful it is you can check some other texture as well like maybe this one I think I like the previous one this one and um, you can also tile this texture 
go to file 2d texture increase this repeat u and v value like i'm increasing this to 2 to tab to tab so see i am i'm getting some more repetition the texture is being repeated here so okay hopefully this tutorial is helpful to create this kind of wrinkle cloth as for your interior modeling so thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe to get my new tutorials uh, thank you very much